What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Mountain Vibes. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing pretty good myself. Doing okay myself. Can't complain. Alright. So today we're gonna be doing a reaction video to my decaying mind in quarantine. I was trying to figure out if it was only me. And this video was done is made by the odd ones out. I was trying to figure if it was only me who was experiencing this man. During quarantine, man, it's like you just get tired of doing the same thing. Right? And it's like your mind just is stuck on repeat. You know, so it's like you're not learning much. You know? That's just only me, you know? But, good thing I'm not the only one. But, if you guys are new to the channel, smash the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below if you guys are interested into it. You know? Just, 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 just let's. Let's just do it, man. Come on, man. Do it. Do, do it for the culture, really and truly. You know? Let's just get into the video. Hello, everyone. It's me, James. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that I'm launching this... Hey, question. Um, why does TV, them old-time TV make that sound? What is that, like the vacuum tubes? Does that, does that make that sound? Because TV now these days don't give you that high pitch sound. Our game called Cafe Chaos on Kickstarter today. There'll be more info at the end of the video. This isn't some bit. I actually made a card game and I worked really hard on it, so please put the link in the description to get your... My name's Joe Exotic. I exploit dangerous wild animals for profit, and that's only the least reprehensible thing I've done. In this eight-part docu-series, I'll show you the bad, the horrible, and downright disgusting aspects of what it's like to be a polyamorous, meth-addicted Tiger King. I'm the real Pokemon master, you hear? And just like that, by watching other garbage humans on his television, James felt ever so slightly at peace while the world crumbled around him. For the first time in months, James smiled. I'll be real with you, being in quarantine has sucked a lot. I miss hanging out with friends, I miss going to non-essential businesses, and I miss wiping my butt with toilet paper instead of my dog. All I've had for company has been floof and my own mind. So it's been a little hard to stay motivated during this time. But if staying home instead of going to Disneyland will save people's lives, then I guess I'll have to make that sacrifice. <sighs> it's so hard to be a good person. Some of the things that have been helping me mentally has been exercise, a positive mindset, and garbage television. I used to think that garbage television was stupid and a waste of my mortal existence. But as I started watching more garbage, I realized that I've already been fascinated and enjoyed watching garbage content for years. Have you seen the videos I make? I've said this in my conspiracy video that I love watching crazy people talk for hours. Now take those same people, give them a camera crew and a budget, and you got a brand new show on TLC. What's that? You've never heard of TLC, the learning channel? Well, TLC is full of wonderful programs and documentaries that'll teach you if you become trashy enough, you'll end up on TV. And that's what schools should be teaching. No, this video isn't sponsored by TLC, but if they wanted to sponsor me, I'd say no. I just want to be on an episode of My Strange Addiction. I'll tell you what the addiction is later, TLC. One show I've been unhealthily binging is called 90 Day Fiancé. It's about when a boy meets a girl, or a girl meets a girl, or a man meets a much younger girl online, and they sort of like each other, but they're from different countries, so when they meet each other, they have 90 days to decide if they want to get married before their visa expires. It's what? great that the internet exists so that these clearly desperate people in different countries even have the chance to form a relationship. And it's equally great that the internet exists so we can watch very personal moments of these strangers' lives. The show really shines with the most garbage of couples. I've seen other YouTubers talk about this one specific couple, Big Ed and Rhodes. I don't want to make fun of Big Ed's appearance, but let's just say he saves a lot of money on scarves. And turtle necks. He's a 54-year-old pursuing a relationship and wanting to marry a 23-year-old Filipino woman named Rose. And Ed has a daughter that's six years older than Rose. And he's older than Rose's father. What? Can you imagine for a second if your mom was six years younger than you? And on top of that, Ed is a huge liar. He lied about his height. He lied about wanting to have kids with her. He's also really mean to Rose. I mean, sure, he's old enough to be her father, so he's probably used to talking down to young people. And a dad telling their kids that their legs are hairy and their breath stinks is justifiable. But this is his girlfriend. At least make her a bag lunch first. Even if I thought Big Ed was the best guy in the world, 
Do I think a relationship could work between people with a 31 year age gap? Well, let's take a look at the math. Here is the half year age plus seven rule graphed out. So if you're 30, then it's socially acceptable to be dating someone who's 22. Now, obviously this graph isn't set in stone, but for reference, here's Big Ed's age versus Rose's age. So when Ed was 40 and taking care of his 15 year old daughter, Rose was nine. So do I think an age gap of 31 can work? Well, mathematically and common sense speaking, not until Ed is 76 and Rose is 45. I think that'll take longer than 90 days though. The second and third reason I love this show is David and Lana. I haven't seen any YouTubers talk about this couple, but they need to. Meet David, a 60 year old guy from Vegas who's fallen head over wallet for a Ukrainian woman named Lana. He spent seven years and a quarter of a million US dollars on a relationship where he hasn't even met the other person. Whoa. He's tried to meet up with Lana on three separate occasions already, but got stood up every single time. Now he's putting all of his credit cards on the table and is willing to risk it all on a fourth trip to the Ukraine to meet a soon to be mail order Not a channel. who doesn't speak English. Long story short, they meet after 13 episodes, David gives her a brand new iPhone X to text him on, only for him to get eternally ghosted because her nails were too long to text him back. Let me remind you that they were in contact for seven years. That's how old Rose was when Ed was 38. Me briefly describing these two's relationship just now was so much of an emotional roller coaster that I don't even need to go back to theme parks anymore. It makes me want to puke and I hope you can see why I love this show so much. I know that reality TV is fake and who knows if this entire relationship was scripted and manufactured for the show, but I don't care if it's fake. This smile is real. Watching garbage television all day isn't as fun or healthy as it may seem, believe it or not. Even though I spent a good portion of this video hyping up trash TV, you should also be doing something productive. Like watching YouTube videos. <laughs> to compensate for all the garbage I watch, I've been exercising more. Right when the pandemic began its exponential spike, I bought a home gym machine and I've been working out three times a week with my friend DJ. DJ and I met because we're both friends with Alan Becker who makes these animations versus animator videos. And one day I noticed that DJ's muscles were a lot like one of my Japanese animes. He was a walking, breathing protagonist that my body dysmorphia had been holding me back from becoming. I reached my skinny hands out to DJ and said, Hey DJ, can, can we work out together? So this is where I put the iPad to talk to DJ. Oh, hey James. This is where I got the treadmill, the weights, and this is my favorite piece of equipment, this rag up here so I don't bump my head when I do pull-ups. This is where I keep my air conditioner because it gets very hot in this garage. This is what it used to look like a month ago. Anyway, the reason I started working out more seriously was because people were calling me skinny and other slanderous synonyms like slender and scrawny. And I told my friends that I was hurt by these comments, but they all unanimously agreed that it, it's true. I am a <laughs> slim gym. <laughs> it's important to have a reason for working out. Mine is self-loathing. DJ is forcing me to push myself. We've only been going for about three months or a whole 90 day fiance. And I've already gone from struggling to lift up this much weight to struggling to lift up this much weight. Sorry if I'm flexing too much on you, I'm just proud of my progress. The point is, while trash TV is fun, remember to mix in some productive activities during the day. For example, exercise. You don't need equipment. Do 10 push-ups right now, Lou. Swing up after yourself. During these hard times, keeping your space organized and tidy will be a big boost on your mental health. Wear a face mask if you need to go out. Learn how to cook. You should also be eating healthy too. Stop eating so many bagel bites. Watch parkour fits. Remind yourself how safe you are inside. These guys can get COVID and a broken tooth. Wear a face mask if you need to go out. Shave your head. Who cares anymore? Watch competitive sports fishing and get your blood pressure to rise so much that you feel pressured into working out again. And Yo, I've been watching competitive sports, sports fishing for real. But I ask me a question, Ari, right, do you fish? Nope. Can you swim? Nope. Or right, you live on the island? Yup. Don't ask me why I can't ask him. I'll fight you, buddy. Oh my god, how big is that fish? Oh my god, it's a 1200 pound bull shark! They need seven people to pull it on the boat and oh my god, is that big head? And last but not least, check out my newest game on Kickstarter. Over the last year, I've been developing a new game called Cafe Chaos. You start the game by choosing a character with a unique ability, target other players, and throw food combos like moldy, double deep fried, couch cushion candy, or a frozen 
chocolate pretzel. That's pickle. Okay. <laughs> That's actually an illegal move, so don't do that. Avoid taking splat points by ducking or using your character's special ability while grabbing more food to throw at opponents. There's a whole bunch of characters to choose from, but I also invited some friends of mine to join the fight. Their cards can be found in the animators pack, and you can see all the other packs over on my Kickstarter page. Some of these deals will only be available for the 30-day campaign, so be sure to check them out before they disappear forever. Hopefully, this game will help you get through quarantine as much as it's helped me. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and wear your seatbelt. Hello, everyone. I hoped you liked my big okay. exclusive sneak peek. Yeah, okay, that's it. I can understand why you say wear your seatbelt. Because we're on a roller coaster right now, we don't know what we're coming off, man. You know? But in line up. That, 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 that compared to sports for shit, that, that, that's something for real, man. I, mean, I don't know why I've been watching it. Boy, I've been watching it. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff down below. And if you want me to react to it, just drop it down in the comment section. And I'll try my best to get to the comments and, you know, uh, whatever it is. But just drop a comment down below. I actually read all of it. I might not, I'm, I'm going to start to reply to people's comments more often, right? But I see the comments, I see all the fat boy, uh, all, I see the negative comments, I see the positive comments. I don't really care. Just drop all the comments. If you want to dislike it, dislike it. I really, really, really don't care. But with that being said, with that being said, hope you guys have an amazing day. Remember, the world is yours. I'm out. Peace.